I wanted to talk about how I sometimes get stuck with something that I feel like I don't want to do. It can be for different reasons, either for I'm afraid what people could think of me, I don't want to deal with the consequences of expressing myself, or I just don't want to perceive myself as that. But in the end, it just makes it worse to not express myself and try to bury it. Because it just makes me feel like it's still there and it takes away from my energy. It makes me feel like anything else I do is dishonest and disingenuous. Because my passion and my love is used up by that one thing hanging over me. Sometimes it's an artwork that I procrastinate. But to be honest, it could be anything, an emotion, an idea, anything that is going on in my life. But I end up holding myself back from doing it. And it feels a little bit like quicksand, because every day I don't do what I need to do. I sink a little bit deeper. Even though my conscious mind doesn't want to do it, there's still this need inside me that I can't get away from. In a way, saying this makes me wonder about free will, but that's a different story. In essence, I think what I'm trying to say is I can only do what I can do. And expecting myself to do something different can be paralyzing. I'm wondering how I can provide value. And not only that, I think it's important that anything we do should be supporting ourselves as well. I feel like life sometimes has this weird balance. You have to go out of your way and do something that is super stressful or even harmful. And then you have to go back and calm yourself down. It's really hard for me, especially lately, because of my health issues. I have a lot of problems with my back since a few years, and I can't seem to shake it. I see by now how it seeps into my paintings. I see how I treat color differently, and I see the pain of how I feel like I can't think straight, at least for extended amounts of time. Even though I didn't want to share this, Anything I make after this point would feel dishonest. It would just make things worse for me. To see the process and the different stages of the painting makes me wonder if I sometimes make myself way more work than I have to. Some of the parts that I have looked at already sparked my interest. And seeing in which direction I then took it makes me think of so many different possibilities it could have gone. If you have been following me, you know by now that I don't have a perfect picture in mind when I begin painting. Yes, of course, I prepare myself with reference photos and a rough idea of some colors. What I'm looking for usually is to find the painting on the canvas. I think it's very difficult to imagine color and what it does to you when you look at it. So it's always a trial and error with my paintings. I talked about this the other day, that I like to think about it like paintings have a life and I'm just there to help them find themselves. I sometimes feel like, due to the nature of finding my artworks in the process, they don't really have a meaning while I create them. Days, sometimes weeks can go by with them just being an artwork, but eventually looking back I see the meaning in them. And I realized that they represent some specific event, emotion or cognitive process. It's like my unconscious mind knows already what's going on. But for my awake mind, it seems to be out of reach. And to be completely straightforward and open, the titles sometimes do play a role in that realization. For this piece, while I was copying the files on my computer, I called this artwork end and I'm actually pretty scared now. Of course I try to tell myself it could be the end of a lot of things, maybe even bad things coming to an end, making room for good things, but I can't tell yet what meaning this artwork carries for me and I'm worried. In times like this everything becomes cluttered with symbolism. It's a bit like anything I see that I have a memory of suddenly gets infused with a lot of shallow meaning. What I mean by that is it appears to be important 
but then thinking about what it could mean doesn't leave me anywhere. It's a little bit like opening an empty box. I think my awake mind is trying to find out what is going on and frantically infuses anything I relate to with symbolism. Lately I had a long period of not painting on canvas since I was doing some writing and illustration work. I'm really happy to be back even though my health issues make it quite difficult. I'm still in love with painting figures at the moment. I think my whole art journey I have always been super interested in figures and objects. Not so much as in still life but maybe I find an old piece to put up in the video. But yeah objects and, and figures. In case you want to listen to me rambling on about frustration in art and how to judge when to stop painting to not overwork your pieces, check out this video. <laughs> 